Guys, welcome back to Path of Exile. I did change one thing. I um, I did change out Herald of Ash for Herald of Ice. I'm not sure why I kept the other one. Herald of Ice is basically a flat amount of damage, but it actually works well because it actually attacks super fast. So it's all good. So let's go to Desecrated Chambers. Because clearly shit has gone down over here. So we're not allowed up here again. There's a, there's a gate barring the way. There's absolutely no way past that, despite the fact we have the power of fucking gods and shit. Literally even. So Herald of Ice also adds like a when I shatter they also explode into ice, which is pretty much gonna look like pretty much exactly what I'm already doing, so. Just even more of the same, I guess. But consistency is the best. Because if I get like more cold damage stuff, then that's really only one element I really have to worry about as well. So I also have some fire I still have a lot of fire damage. Oh, it's because of you. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I was wondering about that, why I had that. I can't do this just yet. So, we have a fuck ton of leech now. Like a metric fuck ton. If you haven't noticed it yet, it's there. Like, it's just... I, I'm taking hits. Like, here, I'm fucking... Like, I'm taking hits, but just coming back pretty much instantly. Because I'm always leeching. Even though... Because, like, just because my life is full doesn't mean it's not over yet. Because of, uh, the Ascendancy I go. So this is the... This is the raw power of the, uh... Of the of the ascendancy I chose. This is why I suggested it to everybody as like a starting one because it's really great. Because like I am just I'm having no trouble like just blazing through this content. You know, we have our fucking blood rage to get us some frenzy charges to help us clear even faster. You know, even if your weapon isn't as good as mine, um, I mean realistically I probably should have upgraded at this point. But whenever it falls off, you know, you just kind of keep going. I just like it because of the attack speed because the attack speed actually scales really well with the. Uh, Flat damage Pat gives me, so. Pat's the beast. But honestly, if you're using Earthquake or something, which or Sunder, which are two very good options, probably better than Frostblades for this for this type of uh, class archetype, then um, you should be probably you shouldn't really be having trouble. Because uh, it's just really nice. If you are having trouble, you just need a uh, you need a weapon with high high damage numbers. That's just that's just how it goes. Pretty much. Cause I kind of even deviated a little bit from the build I originally made, and that's sometimes what you do in a game like this. Oh, Harbinger. Oh, guess what I got? Fall haste! Fall haste? Oh, nice. So am I going even faster, Pat? Even further you beyond? are going even further beyond. Dude, these fucking- th these ice shards are only like one frame of them, honestly. <laughs> That's what it really seems like, isn't it? It really does. Anyways, if you're um, if you're doing this build right now, and I, I can't really talk about really uh, what is better after this, but usually Headsman is the best one if you didn't do a complete elemental build like I did because I'm a dope. Because as I said, that's the part that kind of doesn't make it fit that uh, archetype. But like the last point is very much up to you. I would say that the ones we have are kind of the ones that are good for us. And there's really nothing else that really is good for this build at, at this point. Really it's just you get life and damage and more life and more damage and that's it. That's all we do at this point. Sounds about right. Pretty simple. I do like how fast... I'm probably also going to get more leech by the way fellas. Um, so that's probably going to be one of the things we do right after we get a little bit more life. Yeah, I'm, leech, I'm using Warlord's Mark now, by the way. Because, like, the leech is just insane right now. Like, you can just see me taking hits and it's just coming back now. You're using Warlord's Mark? Yeah, that will help, too. But the last leech nodes are, like, uh, whoops, I'll just show you guys. It's right down here. So, we're going to be going for that pretty much right after, I'd say, after I get a bit more life. And then we got the Endurance Charges. It's a shame what happened to Orias. I think we caused this. Eh, hey, there's a nest up here. I can't do this just yet. You know, to be honest, I'm I'm, I'm still impressed with the fact that we actually got lab done. <laughs> I kind of am too. I wasn't actually expecting to do it. Like, every, like I said, guys, every time I always do it uh, after I've been mapping for a little bit. Uh, so, I mean, that kind of speaks volumes for at least Pat's build in terms of supporting someone. All right, the Sanctum of Innocence. The fuck? Why was he reassembled? Well, probably just to fuck with us somehow. Wow, 
Oh, Pat, it's repeating boss fights. And there's a giant bloody guard now. And we got the Staff of Purity now. That's that was... Easy. Hmm. Yeah? I mean, I did pop the Vol Haste. I didn't think it would... That, no. Uh, right. I mean, I, I look like just pretty much a very similar boss fight anyways, but yeah. Alright, no, we'll, give it to we'll wrecked him. Yep. I fear I have not been entirely honest with you, my friend. While it is true that this staff can forge a path for us through Kitava's horns, it has the ability to revitalize innocence into waking fully. And that is where the staff's true power resides. In this act, I will become his host in the fullest sense. And together, he and his brother Sin will be able to ally with you against the forces of darkness. I bid you farewell, Exile. For where my spirit is set to travel, there is no return. Win this battle. Defeat Kitava. Free our people. Well, there's Anasons. Fuck, just pops out of him. I am reborn. A new god in a troubled land. Brother, you have seen better days, I am sure, but for now you must rouse yourself. We have work to do. If ever you wish to make right the wrongs of your past, help me now. As once I asked you in the early days of mankind, do this for me, and I shall consider our quarrel to be at its end. Go. Do battle, anointed exile. Though my brother and I will aid you, and since the universe conspires for you to be the savior of our world on this day. Banna was a man I greatly admired, possibly even loved. My heart is grieved to see him depart from us on the journey to home of Hi Hirokora. Yet he sacrificed himself so that we may live, and stood true to his convictions. This god, born again innocence, fills me with unease. Although he appears to be rep Pendant of his transgressions, I do not believe he should be forgiven, nor should he tread this earth any longer than is required. Alright, oh, he gives us armor. Okay, let's we'll take the giant gladiator plate. Uh, I guess that's everybody. Alright, Pat, why'd you leave the party? Huh? Why'd you leave the oh. party? I think I uh, lagged out for just a second. I got actually a nice piece of armor. Mines. Eh. I mean, it gives me more life, but less resist. But it gives me life. That's the important part. Yeah, yours is yours is ball sack. Yeah, it kind of is. So now there's a giant fucking floaty man of innocence inside and in, uh, around the base. So you know that's always good. He's a he's a very helpful seeming man, isn't he? Pretty much. And we don't really need terrible bastion we're about just keep it in my stash just in case. Alright. So uh now we go where is the question. I guess we go back to Ravage Square then. Yeah, because we gotta get the horns of innocence down. Oh there's innocence, he's just kinda chilling here. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Bone and corruption shall not impede the path of purity. What a guy. Wow, he just railgunned the shit out of that. I mean, that's the attack he did on us. Yeah, and you know what? It worked really well on us, so... What the hell? Just immediately this guy? Hey, you want to stop taking damage? Not my fault. See, I'm not having any trouble taking damage here. Let me tank for you, motherfucker. I'm just holding that right click. I'm not even playing this game. Just fucking... I'm giving you fortify. Oh, oh yeah, you have, you have fortify now. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yep. I, I I totally forgot. I did not spend my points for my ascendancy. Oh. <laughs> nice job. Yeah. Look at that fucking twenty second fortify. Yeah, he's giving uh, reduced damage. I forgot I get can get fortify through leap slam, which I probably actually could have done ages ago. Maybe I should do that still. Maybe I'll go do that, actually. I think I had a Fortify. Do I have a Fortify gem in my off hand? 
No. I have no idea. I probably should kill things for Pat right now. Yeah, I mean, I can do damage, but it's just easier if you do the damage, as <laughs> dumb as that sounds. No, that's all good. You have Wrath to you, fucking hell. Uh, dude, I, I have gone balls out for you. And that balls sounded out. really gay. It kind of did. Especially since you don't wear any that? pants. Uh, probably blowing. How did you know I'm not wearing pants? I mean, you never wear pants. That's true, I hate pants. Which is really weird for me to know. <laughs> uh, you gotta let it all hang out, bro. No, I... I mean, no. Just no, Pat. Okay. We seem to be backtracking. Uh, yeah, we are, aren't we? Kinda... what? Where are we? I don't know. So all in all, my my build is providing you with max resistances, fortify, curses, and every offensive aura possible. I, I think that's a success. I mean, you guys may look at this and you're like, wow, the game seems easy. No, Pat's actually just trivializing it, actually. Like, with his support build, that's kind of the what he I'm the babysitter. Yeah, it's it's a lot of him, actually, right now, doing this shit. Uh, there's an enemy here. But you gotta, you've gotta be a position 5 at heart to be able to pull this kind of build off. But you really aren't, though. Shush. Shush you. You get mad at all the carries. Well, that's because they don't know what they're doing. Oh, do I know what I'm doing? Like, uh, sometimes. Sometimes. I can't do this just yet. If I had a way of doing endurance, uh, frenzy charges on bosses, I would totally invest in frenzy charges, by the way. I've con you know what the thing is I've considered going into frenzy charge uh, get going conduit and in uh, generating frenzy charges on my own. And, yeah, but I feel like that's way too much for me to try to be doing like way too fast because I've like I've got a I've got a curse I've got to consistently get up the fortify then I would have to also do the frenzies all the time I'd have to manage my cooldowns with the uh, the auras it'd just be a lot man. Are you lazy? It's not that I'm lazy, it's just that's a lot to do. Especially with as fast as we move. Jesus, man. What's how fast I move? Dude, it's getting darker. The feeding trough. Okay. And it's not like pools of blood it, here. I thought it's a trough. Whatever the fuck it is. What's okay. over there? Hmm? Nothing. I was putting a skill point in real quick. Oh. They have like random dead black cards everywhere. Oh, it's the, the, it's the people. They're exploding. Oh, they're putrescent corpses. They're just exploding in the necrotic juices, right? I guess uh, here's your footprints again. <gasps> oh, man, we're going to find him. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what are you God. doing here, Tor? I... <laughs> I think we've got bigger fish to fry than your goddamn loathsome layers. There are Jeez. some corrupted uh, monsters down this fucking little place. You think? Oh my god, the only other thing that could have been worse than this is just Vagan just randomly showing up and being like, Hey, Exile, let's fight to the death! Oh my god. I love this game. I love the nonsensicalness of this game right, sometimes. I, I don't have anything to roll that. Let's yeah. just go do her lair first. I'm sure we'll get something out of the it. The loathsome lair. I mean, it is pretty loathsome. It's just spiders! Like, bitch, we're about to face Katava. Why do we have to kill your spiders? We're literally about to go kill a god, and she's worried about fucking spiders. <laughs> There's spiders in the icky den. God damn it. I don't like spiders either, Tora, but, you know, I also don't like giants eating people. I like how she just did the feeding, uh, the feeding troll or whatever the fuck it is. Trough. 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 Alright, let's just fucking open this. I don't even care. Dude, it's so weird. It's like a purplish blood. It's like my blood. It, yeah, why is your blood purple? I have thick blood. Okay. Well, let's, okay, uh... That's the genetics thing. Don't worry about it. I like how I'm still leeching, even though, like, I'm in my passive tree. Because <laughs> you gotta remember, I'm using Warlord's Mark, too. No, but, like, I was leeching over... Yeah. That's good. Because I think we've got the damage covered, so I felt like having two survivability curses was the was the play. I can't do this just yet. This you can tell me how wrong I, I am. This guy right fortify. Now. Okay, Never mind. Huh? I mean, I mean, it's all good with me. I don't care. 
you do whatever he feels right, Pat. What, what, who had Fortify? Uh, one of the one of the fucking rares that we were trying to kill. Oh, I know both of our golems have Fortify, but that's because I give the entire party Fortify. Yeah, yeah. You have to brag about it. I am bragging about it. That threshold jewel where he just hits something and then it gets everything gets Fortify around him. For like 30 seconds. seconds. It's actually really dumb. Oh shit, what the fuck? We're already here? Oh, dude. This is it. It all comes down to this moment to finally put an end to Kitava. Go, Exile. Together we will save humankind. Alright. Uh, well, they, are... that's, that's a short words for them. Yeah. Yeah, hello, Kitava. Word to your mother. I just hit Katab in the chest. Oh. He's got like a debuff on him. Or no, I have a debuff on me. Dude, he is carving the land over here. Yeah, I'm, oh. I'm actually just sitting inside of his fucking shit and not taking damage. Let's see how much I don't have to move, which is a really bad thing to say, but... Oh, he just got Reaper Horned. Oh, good. I am weirdly enough not taking any damage. <laughs> well, you gotta think I'm giving you, like, we're getting all the leech right now. Dude, he just grabbed Sin! What, did he actually? What the fuck? Yeah! Dude, that motherfucker! You wanna give us our friend back? Yeah, cause I can't- I can't be stunned by any of his attacks as well, so I just keep- I, I just keep hitting things. And there's Pat over there, fucking Running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Trying not to get burped on. Yo, you wanna give us Sin back? Oh, he did give Sin back. Cool. What a nice guy. Uh, he just he just let go of him. Oh, what the fuck is this oh, shit? Oh, oh my god. Dude, I got caught on the edge of that. I can't imagine how much that would hurt to get hit in the middle. Okay, why is there a fucking glowy disco ball in front of me? I don't know, but I would not do disco today. Oh my god, he is just so pissed off at me for some reason. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm not even moving, man. Just yet. I'm just in the middle of this. I'm having a grand old time. Alright, maybe I'm gonna go over here. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck it, fuck it, fuck damage over time. Who cares? Because fucking. Leech for is, days. This class is overpowered. This is like the best fucking class for everything. And you got Fortify as well. And an Enfeeble. However much that helps. I think it is helping, honestly. I'm, I'm seeing like my life fluctuate slightly, but yeah. I mean, every little bit helps, I guess. As I said before, I'm, I am literally just working in a matter of degrees. Dude, he grabbed innocence! Yo, can you, can you give us our fucking gods back, piece of shit? Okay, I'm not fucking tank him back. Okay. I wasn't sure what that was. Hey, he's almost at that 20% threshold. Can you call a god? Just watching that is the most Kratos thing to ask. I, I, I'm watching the, the amount of damage to you, but it's like not nearly as much to me. I I don't seem to be able to call him at all. I, yeah, I didn't think you would. This guy seems to be more scripted than that. Oh shit! G all right, G G G all right. The the floor is lava. I don't know how you're supposed to evade that one, but I kind of just didn't. Oh man. Oh, I, d I just tanked one of those nets, okay. You are making me incredibly tanky, and also the sound is like, kind of weird in this area. He's just aiming for me above all others. I mean, I think he's already decided he can't kill me, so... You might not be able to call him, but I bet you can call his heart. As dumb as that sounds to say out loud. Yeah, 
Damn, son. I did. I actually did. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking called it. Or called it, Pat. Uh -huh. Oh, Whoa, fucking shit. shit. <laughs> wow. That was funny as shit. Fucking hell. Did they just... Is it all cleaned up? <laughs> oh, right. Alright, well, I guess uh, that's the end of Path of Exile, guys. I guess we got a bunch of characters to talk to. Talk to Lanny for a reward. I will do that in a bit, so... Let's talk to literally everybody here. Innocence. You see now, don't you? Little brother. Please forgive me. It's as if I have been dreaming the most horrid nightmare. And now, at last, the haze of sleep lifts from my eyes. My vision is clear. Oh, by the gods, forgive me. It is as true now as it was when we began. You and I are of the same flesh, cleaved from the same womb. You ask for my forgiveness. I give it to you freely. But the things I've done, the countless millions I've murdered... There will be time for all of that later. But for now, your people need you. Horiath needs you. No. I cannot remain here amongst these ruins, amongst the corpses of my own making. These people, they need you, brother, and your hero, not me. Then what? Where will you go? What will you do? Isolation. I shall go south, as far south as one can travel in such a fleshly form. There are things I must think on. The redemption I need plan, if my conscience decides I am worthy of such a gift. You would seek forgiveness in the ice at the bottom of the world? I would, should you let me. Go. Seek out that which you need. Find who you are. Make pilgrimage. Journey on your path, brother. Only return to us one day. Thank you, brother. I suspect you're about ready for a flagon of ale, and a pretty wench or swain, whatever it be that's your persuasion. The great exile of Oriath returns to a Theopolis and chaos and ends the life of a raving cannibal god. Now that's a story worth the songs of many an ancient muse. Well, all I can rightly say is congratulations, my friend. A year ago, I wouldn't have dreamt I'd be someday soon in the company of a killer of gods. My advice, you better get while the getting's good and have yourself a holiday. For Aureth, or Rayclast, or whoever else has need for your unique services once more. Santa, see! That bloody sod is gone from our world. <laughs> Can't tell you how many times I've heard them Karui savages gibbering in fear over that cannibal god. And of course, there's a... Oh, oh this horror to account for as well. I don't think there's a man, woman, or child in the world that won't be praising your name tonight over a glass of their finest grog. Speaking of which, where's a man to go to find a little fire water around these parts? By the light of Ram Ramco, you did it. A mortal crossed the, uh, the threshold between God and man and struck the ravenous one asunder. I've always held out hope that you would succeed, but at night, I would stay awake worrying about perhaps there, it was a foolish dream, but you've done it. I'm, you are no longer an exile, my friend. I honor you. I'm sure the rest of the world will honor you as well. Please, I was saying this for so, something special, but it's not much, but it's yours. Uh, let's see what the gift is. Better be something good. Uh, it's Playboy. Oh, no, it's two passive skill points, actually. That's really nice, actually. Put that shit into thick skin right now. And I think for the next one, I'm actually not sure what the hell I'm going to do. Um, probably going to go into more leech, so let's start doing that. But there's Zana here. Who the hell is Zana, you ask? Well, let's go see who Zana is. Before Kitava tore this city apart, the Templar kept many artifacts hidden deep beneath the city streets. The only surviving remnants of the Templar theocracy are what they hoped to hide forever. 
I think it's time to pull back the veil. There's an entrance to the Templar laboratory not far from here. My father used to sneak me inside as a child. He never could stand the long work days apart. Come, there's something I think you need to see. All right. Well, Pet, I've talked to everyone here. She wants well, to everybody see. has a voice actor. Yeah, well, except for Lottie. He's pretty much. Lottie's just mute. Oh, I'm going to have a look around this place. It's kind of neat. Oh, this is the... Uh... Yeah, this is where he ripped off his throne. Yeah, and his uh, footprint. His footprints are still there. They clearly have cleaned up the, the town slightly. They cleaned up. Dude, I want to know who the cleaning service they use in Oriath is. Because there's just a bunch of places that it's just like snap, crackle, pop. And it's clean. I mean, I would I would call the Solaris towels, honestly. Because they're already yeah, red. They, they, apparently, they're really good at it. There's a feast here. There'll be time for that soon enough. Right, I'm not allowed to j jump around in town. There's a... There's a wait, this guy still has his shackles on. What the fuck? Dude, they they, they, they didn't <laughs> abolish slavery. <laughs> maybe that's, oh, we, maybe we, that's we, a clean up need, town. We need, to get a we need to get Abraham Vagan in here. Dude, we, we just found out who clean up town Dude. is. Oh my god. All right, wow. His heart may have exploded, but his head sure is out there. Look at this dude standing up here like, yep, I'm fucking standing next to his head. That's his skull. Well, slavery was not abolished. In <laughs> As I said, we need to get Abraham Vagan in here. I mean, I'm sure he would abolish that shit in a heartbeat. All right, let's go look at the heartbeat. <laughs> let's go to Templar Laboratory. All right. Oh, hey, they yeah. cleaned this place up. Too. Like, got the detail work. Oh, I was honest here. My name's Anna, but I already know who you are. I also know what you did, Exile. If it weren't for you, none of us would be standing here. There mightn't have been a here to even stand on. This map device is a miracle of both engineering and thaumaturgy. It's truly astounding. Given the right coordinates from a map, this device can take you to places that... Well, honestly, I think it's easier for you to see for yourself just what it's capable of. What lies beyond is dangerous, but so are you. Yet even the God Slayer may not be dangerous enough. Take a map and use it in this device. I'll wait for you on the other side. Alright, uh, well, which maps do we not have? I have basically all of these, actually. Mmm... So, I don't know, which one do we like the, the the best? I like Desert. Desert's a good map. I don't know, but you get your own, right? Yeah. Maybe I'll take Jungle Valley or something. Alright, so she wants us to... So she actually counts, counts as a vendor now, that's interesting. It's definitely something. Yeah, she sells us maps. Oh, that's, that's kind of neat. Inquisitive. The Atlas table. Oh, here we go. We have the Atlas. But that, and this but that, is the end game. I mean, I think maybe we should. I don't. I don't know if we want to wrap up the LP here or what, or maybe we should do one map to kind of show off what that does. Yeah, that we might as well finish is. Zana's quest, especially if we have uh, if we have the time. Kind of show them how it leads into the end game. Well, I kind of need to cut off somewhere, so I guess I'll cut off here. So next time we'll um, we'll give you our final credit kind of thoughts ish kind of stuff, and uh, like I'll tell you what. We think of the game, the new game especially, we'll just sum it up and all that kind of stuff. So we'll do the one map though, at least. So everyone take care. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody.